Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creation. In this video, you're going to be seeing me watch me work. This is going to be a watch me work on some 3D letters. The theme is going to be Hotel Transylvania. If you are here for the first time watching me, I do have a separate tutorial on how to make 3D letters. I have part one through part five down below. I'll show you how to cut them, how to assemble them, how to design, how to make 3D shaker letters and layered letters. So don't forget to check the description box down below on the full tutorial on how to make these. Again, this is going to be a watch me work. This is not a tutorial. Okay, here you see me bringing in all the letters that I'll be using. Today I'll be only doing four 3D letters. I am going to color this, um, them so you can see them here on the screen, but this is not the color cardstock that I'm going to be cutting them out of. Then I'm just going to size all the templates together. It doesn't matter the size that you want them. There is no right or wrong. I just want mine to fit fully in a 12 by 12 cardstock. Okay, now you're going to see me start designing all the letters at the same time. So what I'm doing here is I'm just duplicating the original letter and I'm going to make a like sort of a guide so all my letters can stay straight in one place because I am going to be putting a background and I don't want my background to be crooked inside or not aligned. So this is the reason why I made that rectangle and I'm just going to line all my letters to that rectangle so again, so all my letters could be at the same level. So when I add the background, it all lines up together, which you're going to see what I'm doing. First, I am going to color these letters the colors that I want them to be. And I'm going to color them the color cardstock that I want them to cut out of. And then you're going to see me do an internal offset in each letter and add the background inside. Then I'm just going to start placing all my images in each letter that I want it to be. Don't forget to right click and bring to the front all the images if your images are going to be behind the letters. Don't be afraid when stuff is not going right. It's just probably because when you bring in the image it was, and then you brought in something else, the images might look like it's going behind something. All you have to do is right click on the image and bring to front or bring, or bring to back wherever you want your images placed. As you can see, I'm just adding the images in each letter that I want them to go on. And then I'm going to add an offset to each of the letters. You are going to add as many offsets as you want. Offsets are going to be the layers that you are creating.
don't forget to color all your offsets the color of cardstock that you are going to be using because like that the process make it much easier at the end so you know what color cardstock you are going to be using When I'm done designing, I like to duplicate all my letters so I have a visual when I'm ready to assemble to know where everything goes. So that's what you see me here doing. I'm going to duplicate it and put it on the top. And then I am going to start separating everything into each color, all the printing cuts, all the green cardstock, all the blue cardstock into sections. So when I'm ready to cut, I know that all this is blue, all this is printing cut, all that will be green, brown, orange, and red, and etc. All right, once I have everything separated, I am going to go ahead and color the template black because I'm actually going to cut everything out of black cardstock. And then once I cut everything out, we're going to start assembling. So here we are. Here are all the pieces. And don't forget, like I told you guys before, I like to cut everything out of two times because I like to back up all my images and all my offsets so it could be thicker. Now you see here, these are all going to be scraps. Do not throw away your scraps because this is good every time you have little pieces to go ahead and use those scrap cardstock. So don't throw them away. And as you can see, you see all the pieces here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start assembling all the letters first. Don't forget to also leave the image of the template on your computer so you know exactly where each piece on your template goes. You see that her template, it provides little shapes. So if you look back on your screen, you know where each uh, piece, the long piece is going to go on your letter when you're ready to assemble them.
All right, so now you're going to see me glue all the pieces behind my images because remember, I like myself to be sturdy. So that's what you're gonna see me here, gluing every single piece on top of another piece. And now I'm going to be adding foam tape or foam dots behind every single image and every insert of the letters to give it that 3D dimension.
all right so here it is how all the letters turned out i hope you guys liked this watch me work video if you did please feel free to give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you doing guys feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified every time i upload new videos if you are not in my facebook crafting group it is called andrina's creations crafting lounge feel free to go ahead and join my facebook crafting group now also comment down below which of these letters you like the best either the l the i the a or the n i honestly like all of them again don't leave yet guys because i do have a bonus clip on how i'm going to package these letters don't forget to have a blessed day and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye I know some of you guys might ask what size cellophane bags I'm using. I can't remember specifically this size, but if you go ahead and go on Amazon, they have a lot of si different size cellophane bags. So it all depends on what you are packaging. So if you know your letters are going to be eight inches, then make sure that you get cellophane bags that are around eight and a half and so on. Again, it all depends on what you are packaging. Feel free to click on my Amazon link down below. I do earn a small commission because I am affiliated with Amazon. You only do not have have to shop on my amazon store as long as you click on my amazon link and do your regular amazon shopping i do earn a small commission so thank you so much for those that do use my amazon link